Hi everyone, I'm your host, owner and creator of The Mix. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you to everyone for your support. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to my day one subscribers. I need for you all to listen to this video. Yes, listen to it from beginning to end. Continue to engage in the comment section respectfully. Also, head on over to the community section. I have some polls going on. Vote, 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 vote. And let me jump right into the topic. Okay, everyone, as you can see, come on in, come on in. Hope your weekend is going great thus far. Today is Friday, the weekend, the weekend. Umbrellas up, umbrellas up. As you can see what this video is going to be about. Yes, Mr. Tory Lane's um, government name, Daystar Peterson, posted a message on his IG account. And as you can see, it goes as follows. To the umbrellas, I have never let a hard time intimidate me. I will never, never let no jail time eliminate me. Mm. Regardless of how they try to spin my words, I have always maintained my innocence and I always will. This week in court, I took responsibility for all verbal and intimate moments that I shared with the parties involved. That's it, period. In no way, shape, or form was I apologizing for the charges I'm being wrongfully convicted of. I remain on the stance that I refuse to apologize for something that I did not do. Period. I've faced adversity my whole life. And every time it looked like I would lose, I came out on top. This is nothing but another moment where my back is against the wall. And I refuse to stop fighting till I become victorious. Tough times don't last, tough people do, period. To my family, friends, and umbrellas, thank you for your continued support. See you soon. All right, you guys, you um, heard it there. Mr. Daystar Peterson, I believe this was posted earlier today, Friday. Don't quote me on that. But I do follow Tory Lanez on his social media platforms, X, formerly known as Twitter, and also IG. Uh, so I noticed that this came across my desk. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and um, post about this. But how are you feeling about this, you guys? His his message. Um, I've read it before a couple times. And in my opinion, I feel that it's a strong message. I'm not sure if he wrote it himself or his team or at the direction of his team or at the direction of his you know attorneys or whatever. But I feel that it's strong. It shows guts. It shows tenacity. It shows um, that he's stand, standing true to his... Showing, it's reflecting that he's standing standing true and standing 10 toes down on maintaining his innocence. And in my opinion, like I said before, I believe he is innocent and is not guilty of what they charged him with and what they said he did. And to add to that, the 10-year sentence, I don't care how you split it up, 6, 4, whatever, is 10 double digits. A great miscarriage of justice. A great miscarriage of justice. Period. The sentencing is excessive. Incredibly excessive. Shout out to Tory Lane's attorneys. Matthew Baharma. Jose Baez. They are both. Uh, to my understanding. They're going to file an appeal. I know this appeal is going to be an uphill battle. So when I say that you guys. I know you probably wonder. Okay. What you talking about girl? What's, what's up the mix? Why do you think that? Why are you, it may sound like I'm feeling like a Debbie Downer or don't have hope. I'm not saying that I don't have hope. It's just, look who MTS was running around with. She was at the White House. Kamala Harris was the top cop. Top cop. VP now. She's vice president now. She was top cop of California. And MTS running around the White House with her on some quote unquote I guess, I don't know if it was a charity event or some type of calls or whatever, but huh, yeah, okay. Then also, too, Maxine Waters. Oh, and by the way, the streets are saying Kamala Harris, she locked up a lot of black and brown people. So, hmm, this is California. Their political stumping grounds. Congressman, woman, I think she's a congresswoman or something like that, or whatever, or a state rep, I don't know. Uh, Maxine Waters, yes, her. Her MTS did some type of virtual one-on-one -on -one interview, whatever. I forgot what it was about. 
I didn't even look at it for a long period of time. I just knew my just, I was just like, this doesn't even look good. She's indirectly flexing her muscles. Like, I got this conviction in the bag. I got the, you know, and this is just me, hypothetically speaking. And, and this is me, my opinion. I just, that's just the energy I felt, you know. So, yeah. These people, that's their stomping grounds. You know, this particular judge, Judge David Hereford or whatever, he, I think he ran as a, because he's an elected judge, nonpartisan, meaning that you don't know if he rolling left or right or middle. Who knows? And they do that so they won't show their hands. These different politicians or judges who run for these political offices, they do that when they pick nonpartisan. So you would never know which side they're on. You know, they're not trying to, be Democrat or Republican and this and that, but they do that as a safe space to, in my opinion, to gain votes because a lot of people probably nowadays is not likely to, when it comes to judges, you know, they probably are associated with different political parties. So automatically, um, if they are associated on paper with associate associated on paper with certain political parties automatically that would probably give an indication to voters the type of judge they might be so yeah but nevertheless i digress so yeah this is their stumping grounds california so in my opinion i do believe the appeal process is going to be an uphill battle i don't know um <laughs> whew, wow california hmm It's a lot going on in this country, in this world. Things seems like it's shifting in a space where you have no choice but to conform, so to speak, in a sense, especially in certain areas, especially when it comes to making purchases and everything is pretty much digital. They're forcing ca a cashless system. And this has been talked about the previous decade. I've heard about this before, but just to be living quote-unquote i guess in a matrix because <laughs> that's what it seems like it's like wow so but i hope you guys who all are listening i hope that all of you guys have a safe and healthy and great weekend wherever you are at around the world shout out to all my in international subscribers uh, my international viewers supporters commenters good people who jump in the comment section who have yet to subscribe but while you're here go ahead and smash that subscription button and hit the notification bell that's for everyone thank you to all my domestic united states um supporters subscribers i i really appreciate everyone i do i do i do and again if you all are passing by and have yet to subscribe go ahead and smash that subscription button but yeah back to um mr daystar peterson Tory Lanez this is so unfortunate um like I said I, I I believe that this letter this post to his fans his family friends etc it just shows gumption especially post sentencing you know and yeah yeah it just is it shows heart it shows that he and in my opinion, he's being strong. He's being strong and, and rightfully so. Why show your hand if you are if you are feeling concerned? I do believe that God is gonna shift some shift some things or some people, even if it's with the state of California. Do some shifting, Lord. <laughs> you know, cause um hmm. it just seems like this man is dealing with rulers in a higher place that none of us could not a human being stop, you know? So, but God is definitely in control and has the ultimate power to shift and move some things around like a chessboard, trust and believe. So, throw your umbrellas up, free Tory Lanez, free Tory Lanez. The sentencing, that judge, to me, when, okay, he went to court Monday for sentencing and then a decision wasn't made because of all the letters and all of this and that. That ninja knew what he was going to do in the first place. And I say that respectfully in terms of the judge. He knew he would. He knew he was going. Said this he was going to give. He knew. He know. That judge played in everybody's face. 
played in everybody's face. Um, wasn't a fair judge. I and that's just my opinion. I don't care what nobody says. Everyone else critique judges and prosecutors. This is not the first. This is not the first. You know, give feedback, my opinion, reaction, and commentary. That's all that is. But to me, the judge was biased, and I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. And this is just me speculating. That's you know some. He got some type of connections. Some type of connections. So, hey. Like I said, California is one of them states. Don't get in trouble in California. <laughs> Good luck. But yeah, that sentence saying is excessive. And the judge is bogus for that. Like attorney Jose Baez stated, people with vehicular homicide you know has gotten less time and wow and they've murdered someone literally <laughs> shout out to Tori you guys I'm over here sipping on some wine um, I hope you had a good week like I said it seems like a shift is going on in this country in this world it's just really really strange out here in these streets do what you need to do for yourself and your family respectfully course responsibly all of that good stuff but um yeah things oh, are you guys going to vote are you guys participating in the voting process drop it in the comment section if you are thumbs up if you're going to vote thumbs down if you're not interested and that's of course for the united states um viewers or listeners and um, subscribers wow 10 years this is ridiculous it's really ridiculous i hope and pray that something happens something shifts in his favor that no man can stop because that's the only way he would um mr tory lanes will prevail i believe it's the only way he would prevail shifting and moving some pieces you know but let me know your thoughts what do you think about the, his Instagram posts you know I, I believe also too with Mr. Dexter Peterson um, being incarcerated he has to he has to be strong I mean we all need that energy especially those who support Tory Lanez and if you don't then it's your prerogative there's no hate coming from me we all have an opinion we all have a right to support who we want to support period you know so it may not make sense to you and vice versa who you support or whatever may not make sense to me but hey we can agree to disagree but yeah those who are supporters of Tory Lane I encourage you all just go flood his page his ex account his Instagram account and just flood it with encouraging words and just let's get that energy out there going drummed up you know let's let's speak to the atmosphere you know on this but yeah, let me know your thoughts um, down in the comment section. I, I, he didn't have to give a statement. He didn't, especially after being sentenced like that. That was just, that was gut wrenching. I probably be. Oof. That's why he's he and I am me because I would I wouldn't be I would be on mute. I would be on mute. So with him speaking and releasing something, I appreciate that. And prayers up for Mister. They start Peterson, and more importantly, prayers go out to his child because his child is fatherless. His son, shout out to, I shout out, prayers up for his son and his entire family during this process, during this ordeal. This is just it's not good. It's not good at all. It isn't. But we're gonna keep his music alive. We're gonna keep the support alive, the energy alive, especially those who um, are Tory Lane supporters fans whatever you want to call it yeah so let's keep the good energy going and i will talk to you guys soon bye